Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner. Welcome, it's Wednesday, 10 a.m. East Coast, uh, what is today? Today is May 12th. So if you're finding this video uh, this week, all of the offers and things apply. If you're finding it later, no worries. Um, the bundle is available for a full year, um, if not longer, we'll have to see. Nope, let me see if I can get this going. So if you're here and you see a little live at the top on Facebook, say hi. If you're catching it later, let me know. Um, and let's hope the internet is gonna work properly. So hold on, I'm gonna click. All right, hopefully that was okay that I did that. <laughs> it was saying the internet is running slow. So I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going to hope it's working. All right. Let me see if I can see it. All right. Well, I'm there. Somebody's here watching. We are live. I think it's fine. Hopefully. <laughs> now I just saw myself look all worried at the, the camera. So anyway, we're going to hope that that's good. Okay, so let's, um, so anyway, this is my ramp up to my big catalog launch, which will be on this Facebook page on Sunday, May 16th at 3.30. I'm going to do a presentation. We're going to make projects. I'm going to talk to you about more products. Um, and so I'm just giving you lots of uh, things to help you make your list of what you might want to buy. Um, two big things to know for the month of May actually through June 14th. If you'd like to have a party or a, a catalog party, a Facebook party, um, you can be in person and I can be on Facebook. I'm still not, um, unless you want to do it in your, you got an outdoor space, I would do that. I'm still being a little extra cautious here in this whole time of COVID. Um, but anyway, you could earn extra host rewards. And if anybody's interested in joining my team, it is always a good time to join my team. Um, you get an extra $30 in free product with your starter kit. The starter kit is your choice of products. Um, so you'll pick $155 and you pay $99 and you get free shipping. Cool deal. If you want to know more, let me know. All right, but for today, we're jumping right in. Uh-oh, there we go. We're jumping right in. Okay, if you're shopping this week, let's see if I can get it on here, use the host code and you'll uh, qualify for incentives and get tickets for door prizes in my uh, open house event. Okay, I'm still worried about this whole internet. I don't know why the internet would be slow this morning. Maybe everybody's at home. What is today? Wednesday might be the homeschooling day. It, I think it is in our area. Uh, they go in person the other days. Hi, Barbara, good morning. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this What's Cooking bundle. Guys, this bundle is amazing. It is so cute. There's a couple stamps I wish were in here, but all in all, I love it. So it is a cling stamp. That means it's a red rubber stamp. They're all out on blocks. I can't even show them to you. Well, actually, I'll show them to you this way. So our red rubber stamps are the ones that look kind of red, and then they have built-in foam. Um, the foam sticks to our blocks, and if you're using blocks from somewhere else, I mean, you got to do what you got to do at first, but ours are amazing. They have a nice little groove. They feel great. They hold the stamps wonderfully. I don't put the stickers on. There's a lot of people wonder, ask me that question. Um, you can use the stickers 100%. They're in here. Um, you want to put them on really careful because they are super permanent, and then they are sticky on the top, which will help them stick to your blocks. But if you don't use them, your thing sticks to your blocks just great. Um, also, and I tend to leave mine on for a while. Like I might prepare a project and then it might sit on the block for two weeks. And I found it was really hard to get them off when they are sticky. Um, so that's just something to think about. But if you're putting your blocks on and take them off when there's, if you have those stickers, though, you want to peel really carefully because they are so sticky. Okay. Now that we had a block and a stamp lesson, um, it's always good to know though, because some of us are more beginners, um, than others and everyone should have a successful stamping session. Um, there are dies. These dies are super cute. Um, these three are just um, standalone. So there's a cutting board, a spatula, and a whisk. And then all of these other dies will cut out the, the stamps in the set. Okay, so I can't wait to share and show you how easy and how... This is a... Oh, I almost forgot. And it's not on the stamp set. This is a distinctive stamp set. Wait till you guys see me stamp this. You are going to be amazed. You're going to ooh and you're going to ah because watch, actually, watch how this looks. 
So I'm just going to stamp uh, right now in Memento ink. Watch this spatula. Look at that. My friends, it looks so real. Like, it looks like your Barbie set of things or your American Girl set. Okay, and I love dolls, so they all need little spatulas and dishes. I'm telling you, let's stamp another one. Like, here are the salt and pepper shakers. And they, this is cool because they're on one stamp. Look at that. I mean, my friends, look at that. It's so pretty. Hi, Anne. Hi, Patricia. Yay, there's more friends here. It stamps amazing. When I stamped the first time, I was like ooing and aahing over here. It was crazy. So what I did, um, let me show you, is I stamped a bunch of these real quick just a little bit ago. And then I added a little color with my Stampin' Blends. But you don't have to. But look at this. I made a whole little set. Got the bowl, got the salt and pepper shakers. I mean, how cute are those? And I think we're going to use those on a card. Um, but we're going to do the spatula to match. So I'm going to show you how I colored that. Let me put this on until we need ink again. But they're so adorable. Um, and I think you could have fun stamping them. I just stamped them on our basic white, but I'm sure you could stamp them on other things. So um, I'm going to give it a wood handle. And then, so what I used for, to give it the wood color, I just used light crumb cake. I know, Barbara, aren't they amazing? Hi, Nadine. Yeah, I mean, I stamped them, and I mean, my husband probably thought some crazy lady was in his house. Well, I don't know why I would give this a wood handle now that I'm coloring it. I should have gave it a colored handle. You know what? We're going to stamp it again. Because um, spatulas, well, I guess some maybe have wood handles. I don't know. Mine don't. Mine are all, um, I'm also a big fan of Paper Chef. Mine are, just have white and white. But I'm making a whole little set. This is Pool Party and Real Red. So let's see what happens if we do them in those colors. But I, I am definitely, okay, so I don't know that Amy is on here. I'm going to make a sampler with these. It's super cute. And wait till you see, I made this card. I'm so excited. I will show it to you in a second. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to color this. Okay. Um, these I think would be great. So I'm going to color this part in light pool party. And then I'm going to color the handle in red. This person got like a new set. Um, hey, Jade. Yes, the distinctive are beautiful. But I think, what if you're giving someone tags? If you talk the love language of food, which a lot of us do, you could totally pretty it up with tags. Um, there's a cute little for you in here. All right, now I'm thinking I want the wood handle. You guys are going to laugh. But see, sometimes you don't know until you do it. So we're going to do this one. <laughs> um, but I think tags would be great for gifting things all of my bakers and makers of things um, shower for like a bridal shower a wedding shower somewhere where you're giving them uh, you know maybe someone going to college a cute little bundle and then put a tag with um, this on there oh yeah I like that it is very very cute you are going to love these so let's die cut this one out I've got my little mini boss here Okay, so what do we need? In a minute, we need plate one, and we need a plate two, and then we'll put another two on. Okay, so where's some dies? All right, so I cut all the other ones out so we didn't have to do this whole thing together. And I don't even know if this card's gonna work. Usually the card we make is the one that comes out of my head and it was sitting there. But I will show you, if it fails, it's okay. I made the cutest card, I cased the catalog. Oh, I should show you in the catalog in a moment. Um, but I almost, the problem was I got all up in my ideas of, ooh, I could make a sampler or a cute little framed art with this stuff. Oh. You, need, you know you have a friend who this could hang in their kitchen. And it would look super cute if you made something. And definitely cards. Um, they give an example in the catalog of a recipe card. Look how cute that little guy is. I mean, you can't even... I mean, it. I'm telling you, my little American girl is going to be like, I'll take those. I'll be in the kitchen. They're so cute. So, there we go. Let's move this out of the way. Let's see what we can come up with. 
All right. So we've got a whole little kitchen set. They did have, let me, oh, let me get the catalog here. Hold on. It's buried under a bunch of other papers. So in the catalog, it's on page 34. And um, I, this is kind of cute where they just make them all go around. Okay, and what are these little chef hat things? Are these little things they put on the ends of like the turkey um, or whatever? Why didn't they just give us one chef hat? Probably because it didn't fit. I will show, oh, I'll show you. Um, one of the things, oh, where's my case? This is a lot of stamps. Like it filled the whole red rubber. So that's probably why they did not give me a full size chef hat. Um, so those I think are the little things you, I don't know, I just see them in cartoons on the end of the turkey legs. Um, I've never bought them, I'll probably never use them. I don't know that I'll use that stamp. But um, they used all of this. So the price of the stamp is based on how many stamps you get. And this is $22. With the bundle, with the dies, it's $45.75. And if you get the bundle, that discounts the stamp and the dies by 10%. So in general, I would say buy the bundle. But anyway, it's very cute. So I was thinking we would try to do um, this kind of card with like a whole bunch of utensils on there and see what we get. All right, so I was thinking since I made my little set in Pool Party in red, um, no, I don't need this one. Hopefully I've got all my pieces still here. <laughs> um, so I was thinking this would be our base. So I've got a crumb cake base. Get that ready. Okay, I've got a crumb cake base, and then this is a piece of pool party. And then I used real red, and so you know what? I might do a real red um, back to that. Hold on, let's get a cutter here. Because I was going to attempt, you're going to laugh, I'm going to attempt to make a card with no designer series paper. I know, why would I do it? Because, you know, sometimes you got to try. All right, so I'm going to do, I was going to back it in red. So I'm going to go with four and an eighth. And five and three eighths. Okay, and then I'm going to put this behind. I like um, real red. And cherry cobbler's okay too with pool party. It's kind of a fun combo. And I learned it years ago. Um, they had done some Valentine cards with that color combo. And ever since then, it will pop up in my crafting, even if I don't see it in the designer series. Is that going to fit? It is just going to fit. Okay, so I'm thinking this is our base. But then I feel like there should be something. If we're going to throw all these, <laughs> we're going to throw, oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, I don't know a person who's a knife thrower um, or a knife sharpener, but if you did, you could totally <laughs> make them a cute card. Oh, let's see. How did they do that? Okay. So they didn't use them all. They used like three big things and the salt and pepper, but I like putting the salt and pepper next to each other. And maybe I didn't do as well on that rolling pin. I would probably redo that unless I was in a hurry. These are measuring cups. And we got a bowl. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to throw them all on there. And I'm going to put something in the middle. And then there's some cute sayings in here. We have, of course, what's cooking. And every time I say what's cooking, I say good looking in my head. So there you go. Um, sending a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. Happiness is homemade. And then this for you. This is where I was thinking um, make a cute little tag. How big is a tag? Let me show you a tag. Oh, hold on. I don't know if you noticed them, and I think I talked about them once before. We have these new dies that make tags. These are really cute. I have a feeling I'm going to be using uh, them a lot. But what if, so we're going to die cut out a, we're going to die cut out a tag really quick. Um, I had that piece of pool party. Let me grab a piece. I'm sure this is pool party. Yeah. And I think I can cut this with my mini. See, now look, I distracted my own self here with a half-made card. <laughs> Somebody's going to be like, Audra, are you a little um, ADD? What's that? Attention deficit disorder? What, what would you call it? CDD? Craft deficit disorder? I don't know. 
that sometimes you get in a crafting zone and you have 12 ideas and then you can't make anything. I've actually had that happen. Um, and then you're almost stuck because you have so many ideas and you can't make anything. And that's when I'm like, sometimes you just have to pick something, copy someone else's car, do something just to get yourself doing it. All right, I got it in there, I think. Oops, shifted a little, but let's see. I think I it just fit on my piece of paper. Ooh, I need to clean that top. It's a little dirty, but look at that. Okay, <laughs> so now that we're making a tag instead of a card, <laughs> um, hold on, let's see if I can get this clean. Sometimes your plates get dirty. I was cutting a lot of um, green. You can wash them, but you just wanna make sure they're super dry. Um, before you use paper on them again. Yeah, what if, and let's see if I've got a little circle here somewhere. Really, I need like a medium circle. I don't think I do. What do I have here? Oh, I've got a black one. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. Ooh, wait, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to just do the rolling pin, but I'm going to, and then where's that little for you? Let me show you this for you. It's too, oh, look at that. We could, I think I saw a tiny white circle. Let's get my black ink out again. <laughs> Good to know, Jade. I'm glad to know I'm not the only one that gets um, distracted. And I think it's when I don't have a set, set idea. And then I'm like, oh, I saw this. Oh, I saw that. And I start thinking of all the things I saw. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness. So these videos are supposed to help narrow it down for you. But I don't know that that is always the case. And I think we need a bow. I think we need a bow with some baker's twine. Right around the middle of this rolling pin. So I hope anyone who gets this set, you've got to share what you make because I think we can make a lot of really fun things with it. It's such a cute set. There we go. All right. I like that. So let's attach this. I'm running low. I've got an extra refill. What I've noticed on the Stampin' Seal, so if you're wondering, I think when you get towards the end, it gets harder to use, but you have to like use it. You don't wanna like not use it, right? Um, I just think that it gets more stuck. And when it's a fresh one, it rolls like butter. We're gonna put this on with two little dimensionals. Yes, the font is really cute. It's a a skinny so um Patricia's talking about the font in this set and it is I like the little print and I like the skinny cursive I think it's very very cute look at that how cute is that and then you could stick that on um your gift uh that you're giving to someone wrap it up and then put that on the tie that to the ribbon and I think you could have a really cute tag all right let's see if we can make this card <laughs> Now, what I was thinking was I needed something, um, some kind of dots or some kind of uh, watercolor, something back here in, let me give up a whole party ink. So I'm going to look real fast. I call it atmosphere. Let's see if anything new had some good atmosphere. Otherwise, we're going to dig up something. Oh, all right, we'll use these. So you should always look in your sets, every set, and look for things that have little dots. Little dots are awesome. And sometimes you'll have ones that have big dots, which they are awesome too. I'm trying to think if there's any new sets. I think there's a host set that has some nice atmospheric stamps. Um, a couple of my favorites retired, so I've got to experiment and see. But what I normally try to do, trying to find a little block here, is I look around and I find the ones that have little dots or little, um, not slashes, but little things to give it a little bit of texture. 
and these dots will work just fine. And so I'm just stamping them once and then stamping them off. All right, because you know in the kitchen, I mean, if you're like me, um, I am occasionally a messy baker. And I'm a pretty messy cook, too. So I was thinking, oh, no, I should do it like this. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what this person, I made um, chili yesterday. It was really good. And I made a big crock pot amount. And so we're going to have it for dinner for a couple days. And, oh, here we go. We got one more spatula. I don't know. I think I'm going to put it behind. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that sending you a dash of blah, 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 whatever that says, in black, in the center, I think on pool party, and then I'm going to punch it out. Um, I think, I don't know, the label, wanna, and I don't know the names of all our punches, but I think I can fit it right here. I should know the names of everything, but I don't. I'm like, you know the one with the little bump bumps down the side? I use descriptive words, and that's the one we're going to use. This is the uh, bump bumps down the side. <laughs> so I like this one. This is a good one. And so when you put it in the punch, you want to put it in so you can see where you're punching. Oh, that looks so cute. That looks very cute. And I was thinking about white, but see, I like the idea of that going on there. Although, you know what? Let's punch a white one. I might do the backing it with white thing. All right, so I got some white here. Look, and I'll, I'll still be okay to get those out. Um, you can make these have a backing by cutting them in half. And yes, you end up with a little bit of empty space, but it's enough to offset it. So I like to do that uh, quite often. Oh my goodness. See, I, I, my problem is I want to fight it. I don't want to fill it up, which you shouldn't. You should not fill it up until it's totally empty. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like your uh, other things where you got to use it to the last drop. Got to use all of your adhesive. Oh, I got to be able to see it. So it won't have the backing right in the center, but it usually looks pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, and you know what? Maybe we'll put this one on the top. Now we're cooking. <laughs> we're literally cooking here. Okay, so let's stick some of these down. Um, I think I, yeah, I think I like the spoon behind. So you could use your glue dots, you could use your glue, you could use your stamp and seal, whatever one you want. Um, I think it's hard to put stamp and seal um, or snail, any kind of tape runner on these. So a lot of times I just go to glue dots because I think that they're easier. Um, if you were gonna put it on there, if you use your adhesive, uh, not adhesive, your silicone mat, then you don't get adhesive all over your grid paper. So that can help you if you want to do something like that. But glue dots are our friend. Okay, so that one's going in the bowl. And it can hang off a little because I've got space. I like this knife. So uh, any, you know, you might have actual chefs in your family that you want to give cards to or, you know, us amateur chefs. I'm not even an amateur chef or amateur baker. I would love to be a baker. That would be, that would be, you know, I'm going to put it on this side. That would be something I would like to do. And I've been, I've seen ads from the couple of local bakeries near me that every once in a while they're hiring. And I'm like, ooh, maybe I should go get that job. Um. I don't have time for any more jobs, but I'm always tempted. I'm always tempted because I'd like to learn more if they were hiring someone that was not an expert. I think that that would be fun. Good. All right. And I love these salt and pepper shakers. I think they are so cool. And then this little guy is going to get bumped up on dimensionals 
same with the little spatula. And when we add it to the red and the crumb cake, it's gonna look super cute. Oops, dimensional back there. Okay, and then my little spatula. Okay, so it's gonna need a dimensional under the back part, and then we'll figure out where to put the glue dot. Glue dot right there so that it doesn't fall off. I'm gonna fold that one in half. Oops, hopefully I don't bend this too much. There we go. That's kind of cute. Okay, and then we will put adhesive on this. A little bit in the middle. Okay. Now I know I have a card here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Okay, so then this goes on the red. And then this goes on the crumb cake. I could use a little bit more. I'm afraid to put more dots. I want more dots because now I see like I'm missing them in some spots. But sometimes you mess up when your card is already made and you try to add things. So I'm not gonna do it. I could have added um, some of that baker's twine behind this would probably look really cute. But in general, that actually is a very cute card. Look at that. All right, so now let me sh finish you off by showing you the card I made before, which I totally cased from the catalog. But guys, look at this card. Look at it. How cute is that? I mean, it's so this only the only stamping was the um the little vegetables and then the the words. This was those dies that cut out the pieces. This um buffalo plaid paper is in the um Pattern Party DSP, which I'm going to just basically use all the time. You get it when you order with your host rewards. Um it's super cute. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Sorry about going a little scattered right there in the beginning, but look, then you got to see a tag and two cards. So that is pretty cool. <laughs> um, I'm thinking a sampler with this at the center on a bigger square. Um, this paper, this is cherry cobbler. This is from the Christmas uh, set of six by six paper. And so what I did, just in case, I, I want you to see this. I, I'm saying I case this card, right? I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, what a cute card. And all I did was change it a little. I added a little more paper. I added a, a different bit of stamping. But in general, it's the same basic card. And so I want you to use your catalog as a resource. And then we basically case this card, right? Yeah, we did. We made the basically the same card, just a little bit different. So it's really fun for you to know that you can use your tools. And I thank you so very much for joining me today. It was super fun to have some people hang out. Um, if you're finding this later on YouTube or Facebook, give me a like, give me a love. Let me know that you're watching. Um, if you want to know more about crafting with the Crafty Yogi and Stampin' Up, let me know. I will, of course, share all the information you need. And I look forward to hopefully having a lot of you join me on Sunday at 3.30 for my online uh catalog launch. If you live local and you're going to come um, to my BOGO slash craft yard sale in the garage, let me know uh, to expect you. All right. So have a great day. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Stay crafty.